Hey there, Dave Nason here. I hope you're doing well. In this video, I wanted to take a look at the new virtual volunteer feature in the Be My Eyes app. This feature is currently in early beta, so huge thanks to the guys over at Be My Eyes for allowing me access to the beta. Really excited to be trying it out. So for those who don't know, the Be My Eyes app has been around for many years now and connects blind and low vision people with sighted volunteers for help with day-to-day -day tasks through a live video call where they can see through your back-facing camera on your phone. They also have specialized help which connects blind and low vision customers with company representatives or customer service agents who again can have that live video call support to provide assistance. So really cool app anyway in its own right. What they're now adding is the virtual volunteer where they're going to be able to get assistance from an AI which is using OpenAI's ChatGPT4 model. So really exciting and potentially loads of applications to check out. We're not going to worry too much in this video and subsequent videos about the user interface because that's liable to change quite a bit as we go through the beta process and even I'm sure the quality of the descriptions and the help we get will improve over time too. But it's great to have a look at it and see what kind of things it can do and how well it's performing now. So in this one I'm going to concentrate on photos. There's a couple of ways you can do photos and images within the virtual volunteer. You can either take a photo within the app and get a description or you can go into your own photo library or go to Safari or social media or anywhere else and you can share the photo to the app and get it to recognize it. So we'll have a go at both of those. So first I'm going to go into my photo library and I've picked a photo from a few months ago. Apps with photos, active, photo, photos, recents, back button. And first we'll have a look at what voiceover screen reader own image recognition does with this photo or what it makes of it. Photo, date, the 11th of February, leftable subject available. A group of people playing rugby on a field, a group of people playing rugby on a field. Okay, so it gives me obviously the date of the photo and that it's a group of being people playing rugby on a field. It's impressive, I suppose, that it can actually recognize the sport of rugby there. Um, but that's the extent of the detail I get. I just want to try this with Microsoft's Seeing AI app. So that's another great app we've been using for a number of years now. And one of its features is image recognition or scene recognition. So I'm going to go to the share sheet and find Seeing AI first before we try the Be My Eyes one. Toolbar, share, button, messages, button, page to assign to contact, print, add, recognize with seeing AI, button. So there's recognize with seeing AI. Let's see what it does. Photos, can processing, text, Vodafone, Vodafone. Okay, it reads a bit of text. Scene, a group of men playing rugby. And a group of men playing rugby. Person, two people detected. 26-year-old man with brown hair looking angry. 33 year old man with brown hair and a beard looking neutral and it's recognized two people and giving me some description of them Person to explore close button and that's essentially the extent of what seeing AI does with this photo So it's not bad. It's you know better than we used to have for a long time But let's now see if seeing or if be my eyes can do any better photos toolbar share button O tool, Laura, CX, page two of assign to contact, print, add, recognize, save to Dropbox, search with, envision it, describe with, be my eyes, button. Okay, so describe with, be my eyes. So I'm going to select this. Cancel, button. Takes a few seconds. Virtual volunteer, the picture is of a rugby match. A player in green is running with the ball, while players in blue are lying on the ground. There is a stadium in the background with a large screen and advertising boards. So a lot more information in that one, I think, or certainly more detail. So let's see if we can get any more information. Virtual volunteer. The picture is of a rugby match. Call a sighted volunteer button. Call, call a sighted vo reply button. So I'm going to hit the reply button and I'm going to ask a question. And that's one of the great features of this that you're not simply getting a one-off description but you can actually have a conversation essentially and ask questions for more detail so let's do that 
Cancel. Button. Reply. Provide a follow-up question. Write question here. Text field. Insertion point at end. So I'm going to ask how many players it can see. Because it seemed to describe three. Microsoft Seeing AI mentioned two players specifically in terms of details. Um, I'm trying to describe them. This one mentioned three so far, but I want to know how many it can see overall. Cap H. O. W. Sp. M. A. B. Y. Many. P. L. A. G. E. R. S. Players. C. Cap. Can. Y. O. U. Space. S. 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 A. S. E. E. Question mark. C. How many players can you see? B. Ask question. Button. Cancel. Button. Virtual volunteer. I can see six players in the picture. Three in green, two in blue, and one in black. Okay, I'm guessing black is the referee, and it's green and blue players. So I'm guessing this is Ireland against France, as it was the 11th of February, we also know. So this is probably Ireland against France in the Six Nations. I wouldn't have known that otherwise. Okay, so I'm going to ask if they know the score, because it mentioned a screen. So does it know, kind of see the score in the game? Call a sighted volunteer. Reply. Button. Cancel. Button. Reply. Provide a fault. Write question here. Text field. Insertion point at end. So again, you're always typing your questions, but you can dictate, of course, if you prefer. So I'm going to say you. Cap T. Cap T. Cap Y. O. U. Sp N. E. B. R. U. O. M. E. S. Mentioned. A. Space. S. C. E. Double. Double. B. Screen. Space. Period. Screen. Space. Cap C. A. N. Space. Y. O. U. Space. S. E. E. Space. R. H. E. B. S. C. O. R. E. Question mark. Score. Ask question. Button. So you mentioned a screen. Can you see the score? Cancel. Button. Virtual volunteer. I am unable to see the score on the screen as it is partially obscured by the players. Would you like me to ask for a different angle of the picture that may show the score more clearly? So sometimes it might ask you for another angle. Of course, this is a photo I've taken previously, so I can't take another photo or anything. So I'm not going to go with that suggestion. But I am going to see, can I get any other information? For example, where the match was played, so... Reply. Button. Cancel. Button. Reply. Heading. Provide a follow-up question for the virtual volunteer. Write question here. Text field. Insertion point at end. So, as I said, I believe this is Ireland against France. So if I give it that information, can it then tell me where the match was? Cap T. H. I. S. Sp. N. U. F. T. Must. B. E. Space. Cap I. R. W. L. A. N. D. I. C. E. R. S. U. S. Versus. Cap F. R. A. N. C. E. Period. France. Space. Cap H. E. R. E. Space. Double A. S. Space. R. H. E. B. M. A. T. F. H. Match. P. L. A. G. E. S. A. E. G. Letters. H. A. Y. E. D. Question mark. Ask question. Button. So this must be Ireland versus France. Where was the match played? Cancel. Button. Virtual volunteer. I am unable to answer that question as the location is not visible in the picture. Would you like me to ask for a different angle of the picture that may show the location more clearly? So again, I'm not going to go with that option, but I will try one other thing. Reply. Button. Sometimes I find this works. Sometimes it doesn't, at the moment anyway, which is to ask, can it go and search on the web for that piece of information? Virtual. Reply. Button. Reply. Provide a follow-up question. Write question here. Text field. Insertion point at end. Cap C. A. N. Space. Y. O. U. Space. C. Return. C. Space. Space. F. I. B. D. Find. O. U. T. Space. F. R. O. M. Space. T. H. E. Space. Double. E. B. Tau. Menu. Question mark. W ask question. Button. So can you find out from the web? And we'll see if this works this time. Cancel. Button. Virtual volunteer. I am not able to access the web as I am only programmed to describe the picture and answer questions based on it. I suggest pressing the call a sighted volunteer button for further assistance. Okay, so on this occasion it wasn't able to find that information on the web, um, but like I say, sometimes it will, and that's something that hopefully will become more consistent um, as we go through the beta process and it gets towards release, but we will see. It also, as you, as you may have heard there, 
asked if I want to call a volunteer. So that's something that we have at the end of the page or at the at the bottom of the thread every time is reply but call a sighted volunteer button a button saying call a sighted volunteer so it's letting you if you haven't got the help you need or the level of detail you need on a question it's not necessarily applicable in this case because i'm asking where a match was played but in other cases having that button there to go and call a volunteer can be really useful so you've tried the virtual volunteer and you need a bit more help from a human so you can do that so that is entering a photo from my own photo library. And as I said, you can use social media or the web or anything as well using the share sheet. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take a photo from within the app. Cancel button. Be my eyes, be my eyes. Browse specialized help button, virtual volunteer, beta feature button. So I'm gonna select virtual volunteer. I'm just gonna take a photo of my rather um, uninteresting living room. I'm sitting on my couch and I'm just going to take a picture of the other side of the room just to test this out. Take picture button. Let's see, let's see how much of this we're getting in there in the frame. Okay. Take picture. Your message. Image. Please wait. Virtual volunteer is writing a message. Virtual volunteer. The picture shows a living room with a dining table and chairs on the left side and a TV on the right side. The dining table has a few items on it, including the vase and some picture frames. The TV is on a wooden stand with a few books below it. There is a lamp hanging from the ceiling above the dining table. So that's a pretty good description. Can I ask any question? Reply button. Let's see, what color are the chairs? Provide a follow-up. Add picture. Write question here. Text field. Text field is editing. Write question here. Insertion point at start. Cap W G A T what C O L O U R space A R E space R H E B C H A I R S question mark chairs ask question button please wait virtual volunteer is writing a message virtual volunteer the chairs are white correct I believe reply button uh, let's try one more question cancel but provide a add picture write question here text field Insertion point at end. Cap W H A T space I S space O N space T H E space B S H E L F question mark ask question button. What is on the shelf? Please wait. Virtual volunteer is writing a message. Virtual volunteer. The shelf has a few picture frames and a vase. It appears there may be some other small items on the shelf as well, but I can't see them clearly from this angle. Would you like me to ask for a new picture from a different angle? So here I could hit reply and add another picture if I wish, which is a really useful feature as well. So you're not confined to just the one photo, but also you can continue to ask questions based off this one. That is a pretty good description that it gave me, except that of course it said it can't see the full detail, but it does have various items. It's not quite a vase, it's a different kind of container, but apart from that, it is a pretty good description of what's on that table. So again, I could call a, vol a sighted volunteer if I wanted to for more information either here. But uh, that's a quick overview of using the Be My Eyes app for photos, both taking it from within the app. And as I said, I could add more photos. I'll quickly show reply you how I would do button. that. So I could go apply. Cancel button. Provide a follow up question. Add picture button. And then I can select add picture and send another picture and another question if I want. The other thing we did there was to take a photo from my photo library and feed that into the virtual volunteer and again you can use that with photos from the web or photos from social media or any other locations where you have the share sheet as well so really useful feature and i think what's really important there is not just the level of detail you get in terms of the description of the photo but it's the fact that you can ask those questions you can interrogate it you can ask for more information and narrow down the bit of information you want and that's really what's key as well in terms of how powerful this tool could really be when it comes to working with our photos so that is our first video on the new beta feature of virtual volunteer within the be my eyes app hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one